Well, after New York Times released their stuff, they seem like a lot of these guys is right. Now let's see who else is going to be right. Coming up next. Up you too. I, I, I was mixing. Back with another one for you. And today we're going to talk about the latest things that's been going on. We know that the New York Times dropped. We know that the Washington Times dropped. We know that To the Stars Media put out some videos with the help of the DOD and the Pentagon and stuff. And what it seems like we're going to be told here is the core story. The core story was thought of in 1979 by Dr. Hal Pudoff, Kit Green, and Jacques Vallée. In a Denny's, no less. <laughs> Probably over some eggs and had some hash browns. What the core story is, is was these guys. Hal Pudoff, Dr. Kit Green, Jacques Vallée. They thought about what they knew collectively with the knowledge, what do we know? And they surmised that it was, we've probably been visited, there's probably been a crash, and there's probably been materials. And that's the core story. If we're going to, if they're going to break it on the brass tacks to what exactly what's been going on at this time, I believe it was 79, they thought, okay, well, we at least know these three things. There's been a crash, we've been visited, and there may be materials associated with it. Fast forward to now, and it seems like what we're going to kind of be told. We have the videos put out confirming that there, that there's something, that we're being visited, and... The Pentagon bringing in Bigelow and stuff, and him modifying warehouses and everything. Well, if you're going to modify warehouses, that means that you're trying to keep something, that you have something. So it seems like there has been a crash. I mean, well, it seems like there are UFOs. We have been visited, and maybe there's materials from a crash, and they're stored by Bigelow. And, um... You know, we've been visited, there has been a crash, and we do have materials. That's the core story, and it seems like that's what we're going to be told coming up sooner. Who knows how long it's going to take for more videos and confirmations to let out. So, that got me to thinking that all these UFO, UFO investigators for years have been telling us, the government's involved, the government's doing this, the government is recording, the go I mean, the government is uh, recording. The government is actually recording data and watching these UFOs and stuff. The government, the government, they've been telling us for a long time. A lot of these UFO investigators. Stephen Bassett has been telling us this stuff. Uh, um, Greg, uh, Greg, Grant Cameron has been all over this stuff. He's been telling us for a while. There's a lot of investigators, and to me, it seemed like they got it right. They got it right. Stanton Friedman's been telling us for a long time, hey, look, they're investigating this stuff. And it's like, man, you know what? A lot of these guys got it right, at least as far as that. They've been telling you for years, hey, there's a program that's going on and they're doing this. And we've been like, okay, okay, all right. So it seems like Stanton Freeman, Tom DeLong, Grant Cameron, Stephen Greer, Linda Moulton Howe, and lots and lots and lots of other UFO investigators, they got it right. They told us, this is what the government's been doing. This is what's going on. They've been telling us for years. And now that it's starting to come out, it seems like these guys got it right. And I start thinking, you know what? What else are they going to be right about? Who else is going to be right? What's going on out there that, you know, oh, my God, this guy was right. This guy was right. And I start thinking about a few guys. These guys are all kind of on the same thing. And that would be Bud Hopkins. That would be... Dr. David Jacobs, and that would be Dr. John Mack from Harvard. And uh give you a little bit about these guys. Bud Hopkins, uh, he wrote a book, I believe it's called Intruders. I should have had my stuff with me right here. He wrote a book about visitation, about uh, alien abduction. And um, people read the book, and it set, the, you know, set a storm in the UFO community. People's like, wow, um, some uh, abductees came out of the closet. They can identify with what he was talking about. And then he brought more people that was interested in this field and this phenomenon, what's going on. One of the guys that also came in was Dr. Uh, Johnny Mack from Harvard. This is a doctor, a professor from Harvard, Dr. John Mack. He came in, he started doing the regressions and stuff like that, and he started saying, you know what, there's something to this abductee thing. There's something to it. We're not sure exactly what it is, but there's something to this abductee thing. And he started going on with his thing about it. And then lately, the one I think that stands out the most now is Dr. David Jacobs. He's an historian from Temple. 
He's a professor at Temple, professor in history. And what he says stands out. And I think all three of them believe in the abduction phenomenon. They believe that it's being put on by Grace and other entities trying to, you know, they, they, they go on about reptilians grays and all the stuff but they really believe this is the grays that's doing this and um the reason why i says that dr david jacob stands out because he gives you straight up liquor with no chaser it is planetary acquisition a clandestine operations put on by the grays what if this guy is right we're starting to find out some of these other guys is right what if we find out that these guys are right i'm not saying that they are or not they aren't because I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't think that these guys had something to go on. But what if we find out that these guys are correct too? Man. And listen, straightly, they believe straight up. As far as Jacobs and Johnny Mac go, John Mac, he believes it's more of a, um, he believes people that went through the abduction phenomenon, they come out better on the other end, almost like a spiritual, a spiritual transformation that it had. Now that you see and know, what will you do? Who are you now? You come out different on the other side. Dr. Jacobs and Bud Hopkins, straight up, it's abduction by grace for planetary acquisition. It's a hybridization program where they're taking um, where, where they're taking materials, where they're taking uh, sperm samples, where they're always messing with the genitalia, reproductive systems and stuff like that. They believe this is for a hybridization program and that they believe is grays that's out there. Hybrids, um, I forgot the word that Jacob calls them, is like a super hybrid that looks human. He believes that they're actually here on Earth, that they're living amongst other people and that they're here. Straight up, he doesn't mention his words. This is done. It's a clandestine operation. The abductions are, and it's done for planetary acquisition. They want to come here. They want to be part of it. They want to mix their genes with us. Other people have different things. Um, one of John Mack's students says what he believes is that the Greys messed up their home planet. And that home planet was their spiritual connection to their, to their God, to the universe. And since they messed up their home planet, they feel that they lost that spiritual connection. So they're trying to come here, integrate ourselves with us, and kind of either make sure that we don't do it or have a place to take care of again so they can show the master of the universe that they are good stewards to a planet because they allegedly lost their home planet. But it is, it's a trip. What if these guys are right? We know the other ones who was right about the government's program and stuff, but if these guys are right about the abduction phenomenon, man, <clears throat> boy, aren't we in for something right there? I mean, if they come out and tell us, hey, look, this is what's going on, which I, I doubt if they do. If they do, yay. If they don't, I totally understand. But, when I start hearing stuff like this about um, what's coming out and what they're going to tell us, I started thinking, man, a lot of guys got it right. A lot of these guys, UFO, and they need to be commended because they looked at like, not from me, and I hate to use this word and just throw it out there, they looked at like fools from other people for years. And now that they're right, it's coming out slowly but surely that they are right. What else did they get right and who else is right? If these abduction guys are right, Man, if Dr. David Jacobs and Bud Hopkins is right about the, hybrid, the hybridization program and all this stuff, oh my God, man, that is crazy. So we're actually living here on Earth with other aliens and with aliens and stuff like that. If what he says is correct, then it's wild. But I like the fact that all three of these guys believe it's the Grays. Um, a lot of them, a lot of these abduction people, they see reptilians and... John Mack, um, he has a YouTube, um, a YouTube video. Type in John Mack Reptilians. You'll hear what he's saying about them, how they don't have a good uh, reputation. <laughs> you know, <they're, laughs> they seem like they're warlike people and stuff like that. And some of them, uh, I don't know, it's a trip, man. Uh, uh, Barbara Lamb, she deals with the abductees too, and she deals with the reptilians and the grays and stuff like that. And if these guys are right, I'm just going to isolate Jacob's Mac and Hopkins, if these guys are right with the abduction phenomenon and what's going on, wow, wow. I mean, you think back to Travis Walton, his story. That was one of the first movies I've seen, uh, Fire in the Sky. It lit a fire underneath me. I couldn't believe what I was seeing was being portrayed as real. And as a young man, that blew my mind. What I was seeing on screen wasn't being portrayed as a work of fantasy or science fiction. This was supposed to be brought on by fact, and I was just blown away to see that. And then the first one I can never remember was Betty and Barney Hill. 
That's the first abduction case I ever remember hearing about, ever seeing about, was Betty and Barney Hill. And they didn't seem like no crooks. He was a postal worker. I believe uh, she was a nursing. I'm not sure about the hurt part, but I'm pretty sure he was a postal worker. And they had this fantastic story to tell. In the 60s, I believe it was, or 50s, they had a fantastic story to tell. And it just got me, man, what if these guys are, I'm not saying that they are wrong, but what if we have hardcore confirmation that they're right? If we find out, oh, yes, they are grazed, then what? Or should we go as far as to assume what Jacobs and, and uh, Bud Hopkins says? That this abduction phenomenon, they're getting, uh, what's the name, genetic material, so they can hybridize, hybridize themselves into our form and try to come in and take over. You know, it's, uh, man, it's a trip. It's a trip that, um, what's the name, Jacob says that they have hybrids so good that they can walk amongst us and we couldn't even tell. Man, if we find out that he was right, that's going to be pretty, it's going to be out there, man. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. Those are some guys that you can go look up right there. Go check out uh, Dr. David Jacobs, John Mack. Check out Bud Hopkins. They believe, they believe in this abduction phenomenon. They believe it's going on. And like I said, what the guys that got it right uh, so far, what else are they right about? And what else will these guys be right about? So, um... Just wanted to hit you up with that. Click, like, and subscribe. I'll be talking to you more about who else. You know, I'm going to try to do a little series on who else could be right. Who else got this stuff right? And I'm sure there's a lot more out there. That is, man, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be scary. It's going to be life-altering if these guys are right. Now, um, all things scary doesn't make it bad or whatever. Because I'm sure the first time we jumped in the pool, we were afraid. But after we got used to the water and didn't panic, we understood what it is. So I'm sure some of these revelations come out about what's going on, what's happened to our planet and us as a species. Might seem scary at all. But hey, once we don't panic and learn how to just exist and figure out what's going on, sure, we'll be perfectly fine. So um, thank you guys for listening. Click like and subscribe. And thank every last one of my subscribers. Thank all you guys for subscribing and tuning in. I really appreciate the hell out of this. It floats my boat. It makes my day. And um, I love making these videos for you guys. And I try to take my time and make sure I'm not just making garbage. I'm trying to get you guys something, some good stuff. All right, man. So you guys have a good week. Have a good day. Have a good life. I wish you guys the best. I love you all. Stay positive. Wish the things for people that you wish for yourself. All right. See you guys, and I'm out.